What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monster Energy Supercross video here on the channel guys. Take a look at that level. We just hit level 400. Finally man, after playing this game for so long we are finally level 400. That's absolutely wild. Here today guys we are on Anaheim 2 Amber. Today we are here on Anaheim 2 Amateur Supercross 2018. So I don't know if this is actually like a replica or if that's just the name of this track a2 msx 2018 um, I'm not too sure. We'll have to just hop in have some fun with it I got this idea from we ride like this on YouTube and today guys We're gonna hop in and we're gonna mess around with the bike setup What he wanted me to do was do a race with the clickers maxed out So how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna hop into this track we're in the time trial mode, so I'm gonna run a couple laps just with like the standard setup with what you're seeing right here. All the clickers right in the middle and medium gear ratio. Then we're gonna come in after a couple laps, after we kind of set like a standard lap time, we're gonna hop in, change these all up. We're gonna try them maxed out. We're gonna try them all the way to the left, all the way down. We're gonna try different gear ratios. We're gonna try everything, okay? It's gonna be a fun video. So guys, if you do enjoy at any point in time, smash that thumbs up button throw any comments down below leave a comment down below question of the video guys let me know what your favorite bike setup is where do you put your clickers let me know in the comments below do you just run them standard sometimes i usually just you know let it let it go just play with them right here in the middle and, and run that bike setup sometimes i like to come in and change them up just like this i find that that is a pretty good setup to run right there um i don't know i feel like it's kind of personal preference and how you want your bike to ride so question of the video guys let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite bike setup in monster energy supercross remember guys there is the giveaway enter into the giveaway we have merch go out guys buy your merch it is linked in the description below and let's get into the video I always love it when I come into a time trial mode and my controller just uh, does absolutely nothing. Oh my goodness. Nothing a little restart can't fix though, but okay, here we go guys. Our first couple laps on the track. Like I said, we're going to try and set a standard here just with like a regular old bike setup that isn't going to be all wonky. And then we're just going to hop in and try out different setups, try out different things and see uh, how those lap times compare to our current standard. So we'll see what happens. So far this track seems pretty easy. Pretty easy, fairly fairly simple, no real complex rhythms. That section there we just went through was a little wonky, but uh, I don't know what we're gonna end up doing through here. That was a weird old section. Might have to actually choke up and double one of those so that we can double, double, double all the way through there. And then here is the finish line. 48 seconds being our first lap. Now I already messed up this lap, so this one is not gonna count. All right, let's see if we can beat that lap time. Let's see what goes down. Through here, this section's pretty easy, nothing too complex. Like I said, so far the track seems fairly straightforward and it doesn't really seem like there's gonna be a lot of variety, which is probably good for what we're about to do. Hopefully we can hit all the same lines with uh, all the different setups we try. And that'll just make it really consistent and, and good for testing. Through here, I found last lap, if you kind of just choke up, you can bounce and then bounce over that one. I think that's better than just singling into the corner. I think it gives you a little bit of a better flow. 45 seconds. All right, let's see if we can beat that lap time. I'll give it maybe one more try here, and then we'll hop in and try out the first setup. 
Okay, we're here. Bike setup. Come down. Bike setup. And what we're gonna do first, just for we ride like this, we're gonna go out and max out all of the clickers. I'm gonna come in and just max out all of these clickers gear ratio i think the gear ratio doesn't really have an impact on it it just changes like your your gear ratio so how your bike's gonna accelerate and all that in its top speed so i'm just gonna leave that on medium we'll keep that consistent i think i said at the start that we were gonna try different gear ratios i just don't think oh my why does it always break i just don't think trying different gear ratios is really good for this type of a test so let's see what goes down i wonder how this bike's gonna handle am i gonna like this thing better Imagine this is like the way to do it. Just max out your clickers. And it's going to ride like a dream. My main thing is hitting jumps. Is it going to be different in like rough sections that we get sketchy in? Or is it actually going to be able to handle a o Okay, so far guys, I don't even really feel a difference. We got through there wonky. We actually jumped that whole thing. Maybe this is the way to go. Maybe this is the way to go in supercross max out your clickers and then go for it oh man what was our lap time a 45 something 45 something i should have checked so that if we're like really really close we'll know if we beat it or not i totally forget i know it was 45 but i don't know what the uh the milliseconds were <laughs> so far though even with maxed out clickers, the bike seems to handle A-OK, -okay, if anything. Okay, uh, oh, yeah, I was gonna say we're doing better, but now we're stuck. It's actually really tough to even notice a difference between the two setups. Let me know, guys, if you notice, like, the bike jumping around or something, or if it looks stiffer, let me know in the comments, because it's tough for me to tell what is even different about this bike right now. It feels pretty much the exact same. We're gonna have to try and go to the opposite end of the spectrum, and uh like the the other extreme put the clickers all the way down and see if if we notice a big difference then uh we still haven't beat our lap time but i think we are going to be able to i think we will be able to we just have to uh get through the sections clean and i think we'll be good for some reason the bike feels like it grips really really good on this ground now it would be interesting to try like a wet track just to see how it handles on different terrains and different uh tractions but 44 seconds on the clock guys so far this setup it's actually not bad i can't complain it is not bad at all now what we're gonna do since we beat that lap time we're gonna come in and go to the opposite end of the spectrum so we're gonna put everything all the way down all the way down and let's see what we can do So right away I noticed that the bike feels a little bit softer. The suspension is definitely softer. Uh, it's a lot more of a mellow riding bike. The other one was pretty aggressive. You could definitely tell the difference in the suspension. The other bike it was aggressive, the suspension was hard, and it liked to uh, boot you on jumps. This suspension, it does look like it's kind of soaking a lot of the, uh, the bumps up. And I don't know if that's going to make a big difference. It might help us in the corners, having a little bit of a softer suspension. But at the same time, at the other setup, we weren't getting any, like, uh, loss of traction with the back end. Here, it kind of seems like on the flat corners, we're kind of losing traction with that back end. It's, it's wanting to slide out, and we have to be a little bit better with our throttle, throttle control, or else we're going to end up going down. So... All, all together though, like, the setups feel pretty similar and you don't really notice like a huge difference between them. It'll be nice to see if we can beat a 44 second lap time with this setup. I mean, 44, 5, 10, that means we're pretty consistent. I mean, 45 seconds with the clickers right in the middle, the way they come standard in the game. 44 seconds with the maxed out and then 44 seconds with them all the way down. So... Do setups mean a lot in this game, guys? Do you think, like, changing your bike setup 
does it really change a whole lot or is it really just personal preference do you think you can get used to how a bike rides and get out there and shred no matter what the bike setup is or do you think a bike setup actually means a lot does it does it account for like a lot of time in the racing can you make up time just because of your bike setup or is it all due to rider skill that's one thing i need to know i wonder how much these bike setups really change from what i can tell by doing this video it doesn't really change anything drastically like you would kind of expect it to like you would expect the bike to feel completely different for different situations now it doesn't it really doesn't like the bike i don't know it's not like we really struggled to come out here and hit laps either like the bike just handles pretty much the exact same all the time so i think i'll give it one more lap here and then maybe we'll try one more setup i have something i want to do but i think just by hitting those 44 second lap times with both the setups it proves right there that like maybe it's just this track but setups are not a huge part of this game now i'm also getting more experience on the track so with that being said my lap times could just naturally be getting quicker and i could just be finding ways to go faster and faster on the track but uh i don't know man the setups like like i said the bikes don't feel very different and that's like my main concern 44 to 10 is the lap time with that setup now for the final thing i want to do here guys we're going to come into the bike setup and we're going to put these maxed out okay your preload and your spring stiffness so we're gonna have really hard springs and then we're gonna leave our damping really really low so we're not gonna have a lot of damping on there for compression or rebound all right so we'll come in start up the race and let's see what we can do every single time i've restarted i've lost control of my bike it doesn't let me control my bike and we have to come in and restart again look at that i don't know why so this setup has really hard springs really hard suspension and right away i can tell that like in the corners it doesn't really want to soak up into the corners it really just wants to uh like plow its way through the corners if that makes sense and that's just because the suspension is so stiff that it doesn't want it to lean it doesn't want the bike to compress at all it just wants it to uh stay stiff and stay upright right so we'll see what happens uh stiff suspension can kind of be tough for braking and uh tight corners like this but we'll see what we can do i think man i don't know the setup changes don't really do too much like you can still hop in and shred i think i think uh it may make minimal differences that the average player might not notice and man you could probably change my setup without me knowing and it's not like i would come back and be like man someone changed my bike setup i just think uh I think the setups don't change that much. 44, 9, 10, that lap. So right there, 44 second lap time without even really having to struggle to get it done. Um, I think the setups are really, I mean, they might make little differences. In fact, I know they do make little differences. You know, like the way this bike hits bumps because of this, the stiff suspension, it's tough. Like the bike really likes to jump on these bumps, but it doesn't mean it's not capable of hitting the same lap times as any other setup so i think uh, a bike setup is really just personal preference and it might just be like a lot of mind games like knowing that you have your setup set up the way you like it might actually help you out so 44 244 that was actually pretty close to the lap we ran last time so i wonder if we can even beat that lap time it'd be nice to maybe get like a 43 just to be like bam you know what even with this wonky setup you can still hit a fast lap so there you guys have it that's pretty much it i mean the setups you can go in and change them that's why i've never really done like a setup video though is because like do you really notice a huge difference with the bike setup differently i don't really notice a huge difference maybe it's just me maybe i'm just a goon and i i don't really i don't know i can just hop on and ride whatever and uh it's just like i don't know i'm just here i'll figure out how to ride whatever you throw at me you know you give me a little sketchy old 50 
I'm gonna try and figure out how to handle that thing and how to make it work, right? So, so I don't know if like playtime and being comfortable with the game, kind of like rider skill, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but in my mind, guys, the setups don't really mean much. They don't really change much, and uh, you can do the same things with one setup that you can on another setup. Now, some like tricky rhythm sections, some big quads might require like, you know, stiffer suspension so that you can actually get the preload to make them. But I'm not sure, man. It is, it, it's, it's weird. Does it make a big difference? I'm not sure. We're gonna end it here, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. The setups are still a mystery, man. Still a mystery. We hit pretty close lap times on every different setup that we tried. So I don't even know what to say, really. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will catch you all in another video. Peace out.